Zoo Wee Mama. How's it going, everybody? I am joined here today once again with Glazer, and we are going to update our Series 4 and Series 5 buy guide tier list to help you decide which cards you're going to chase after with your very precious resources. So, Glazer, how are we doing today? I'm great, and last time this list was perfect. Like, I, this was, I think, the best list of any. I, I literally, we finished when you posted it. I shared it on my channel. I went and checked. And, like, I think we actually nailed it. And then I'm looking at this list right now, <laughs> the list we did last time, and it's trash. It's so wrong. Literally, about a month and a week later, a month and two weeks later, yep. from where we were at the start of last month, so much has changed. It's completely ridiculous. Yeah, like you mentioned, a lot has changed, and so we're going to be uh, first moving around some of the cards that are already on here. This was uh, part of our list from last time. Then we're also going to be placing the new cards that we had come out from the last season and the start of this season, as well as touching on some of the cards that were directly uh, buffed or nerfed through OTAs or patches. But we've got a lot of cards in here that just because of how the meta changed, just because of how other cards got buffed or nerfed, need to you know move up or down a tier and so why don't we go ahead just kick it off we'll start with s tier and we do have all the cards um, in each tier first by the series so series four cards i'm placing first series five cards after and then after that it's alphabetical so all cards in the same row we're kind of valuing the same it's not uh, order doesn't matter in the row it's just by series and alphabetical but looking at s tier uh, to start off, are there any of these cards you would want to drop down to A? Nope, not even a little bit. The, like, this, these are like the five most must-have cards in Marvel Snap, in my opinion. I think if you start yeah. with these five, you're in really good shape. Yeah, no, I agree. Now, but looking at A tier, which ones would you oh, put to boy. S? Would you, would you put Mockingbird up to S? I mean, Mockingbird has to be in S. Mockingbird's the best card in the game. Yeah, she hits. Uh, Nocturne has to move up, too. I like it. Does any? I don't think anything else moves up, but I think a few things are moving down. Like half of it is moving down. Yeah, I don't see anything else moving up to being a uh, a must have. What do you like for moving down from A to B tier? So, do you still need Gladiator? I, you know, I haven't like seen it, him much recently. I think that's a good point. Uh, I used to see him a lot. Sage came out, made that hurt his play a bit. I haven't seen a ton of him. I, I see him every now and then. He, he feels good, but he just didn't see as much play, I think. Yeah, I mean, Arisham means that, like, the mill decks that were playing him are just kind of gone. That's a good point. Like, I still see it, right? But, like, it's if that's gone, then Gladiator's just a regular card. Right. Like, he's in some Surfer, but not all of it. Mm hmm You think he uh, belongs to B? I think he belongs to be. And my hot take, I think the two destroy cards go down to be. Uh, Null and X-23? Are they used for anything right now? Are, wait, so actually, this is a, this is a good point. Um, so we're not seeing a ton of destroy. Now, we've actually seen a spike in Mr. Negative decks, but they seem to be a bit different. They're running like Sage and stuff. They're not running mm -hmm. Null anymore, right? They cut Null? Yep. Yeah, so that's but, if you're cutting Null and Mr. Negative, they used to be one of his basically his only second home <laughs> besides Destroy. So I kind of like moving uh, them down to B. I think that's a very good point. No one plays it, but Corvus Glaive is still great, and Hella is still a pain in the ass to beat. So not yes. Bad. But I think um, Living Tribunal needs not to go down. Yeah, the I decks just don't exist. I haven't, they I haven't just seen them. I don't know the last time I saw a Tribunal. Yeah, they just it, it's still a B, right? Like it's still a deck you can play, but I don't know if they're Yeah, and, and then, a lot of people have me is series four now. Um but yeah. you've just not seen them. Which is crazy, right? Because you would expect that to spike the play rate and not kill it. But right. here we are. I think Elsa has to go down a little bit. Yeah, after especially maybe the Angela nerf her Elsa, we mm -hmm. she kinda dropped off too. She none of that, you know, kinda dropped off the map. Um, yeah. I would agree with you there, and I think she's still Series 5. Which cards from B, if any, are tempting you to move up? All right, so not going in order, but, like, White Widow has to be an A level. Yeah, and, and last time, that was kind of our debating. We are kind of debating mm -hmm. A to B, um, and she still seems to be doing well. So I like moving White Widow to A, and she fits in a ton of decks. Great for a lot of players. Jean's probably down to C, you know? She no longer exists. I like Jean going to uh, to C. 
I haven't seen Call in a minute. I've seen more other big stuff that gets discounted, just like Mockingbird, right. even more Sasquatch, uh, right. even some Crossbones. I, I feel I like Call can't Hulk... be in the same list as Sasquatch, right? Yeah, they can't Hulk be in the same kind of went away when Thanos keeps getting hurt. <laughs> so I don't see Call. I, I don't mind moving Call down to a, a C tier, actually. Even though he's a 410, which isn't mm-hmm. that hard to play, it is pretty crazy. But yep. he just he doesn't have decks that he likes right now. I think Red Guardian needs to move up, and I'm not sure on Sasquatch. Yeah, I, I definitely agree on Red Guardian. Sasquatch, again, you know, it's like, I'm also a bit unsure. Like, in Bounce, he can have a home. I've seen him in some other decks, but he's definitely not as flexible as Mockingbird. Sasquatch so, is a she. Oh, sorry, you're right. She, you're right. So the female doctor is uh, the white Sasquatch. Mm-hmm. And... I'm fine with A. It's just close. Yeah, it is close. Maybe we'll keep it's like even... and B for now and decide later if we want to. The last card is Scar can go down. So can yeah. Thanos, but I don't want to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll definitely right, like... Scar down. Uh, he'll go right here. And Shaw is much better, but like I still think he's much better and still a B. Now, looking at the C tier... Are there any cards that jump out to you that you think we should move up to B tier? Does Blob bring it back now? Now that he's seen I mean, it, is, is Blob's an A, right? You think he's back to if A? I think he's back to A. If you have an Arisham list, you should be playing Bob in, Blob in it. And Arisham is the most important thing in the game right now. If you're not playing Arisham, do you need Blob at all? No. Should we keep him in B tier because his only value is Arisham? I don't know. If you're not playing... Um, Hella, do you need Corvus Glaive at all? Blob is basically re- it's, required. It's the it's, one it's era place. Every Arishem deck, yeah. Okay, I like it. I like the big boy coming back up to his former home. Yeah, he just jumps right back up. There's two more cards I think that have to move up, but I don't think they move up to A. Yeah. Ghost Spider and Phoenix Force have to. Oh yeah, moves coming back, right? And we're going to talk about Hercules. Um, oh. And which which tier do you have them going up to? I think. Ghost Spider is borderline A, Phoenix versus B. You right. need Ghost Spider for the move list. You need Ghost Spider for Phoenix. Is A crazy? Was that list as generally strong as, you know, players that can just pick up Discard and win or Arishim and win? Are people able to just pick up that deck and win? I guess besides just, you know... No, you have, to be, you have to be really good to play in this deck. So that could keep her in B. Yeah, but she's I, would, another I like her going B. to B... Uh, just because that deck isn't for everybody. Does Legion go up due to being in a million Arishim decks? I think we can put Legion in B from Arishim. Yeah, like He's it. not as neat as Blob, but um, getting, He's good getting him down when you have extra energy kind of hits. And he's only Series 4 as well. Now, looking at F tier, are there any cards you would want to move up out of F tier? So Grandmaster is at least a C and has an argument for B. Grandmaster is very, very, very good with Gwenpool. Oh, with Gwenpool, that's a good point. Yeah, so, I like, like you don't pretty... you don't want to play Absorbing Man. You don't want to go four six four four, and then that's your whole next turn. But right. you can go four four six two three, and be in really great shape. Yeah, I like moving him up uh, to C for now, and I, we can see how he he keeps playing. But he has been getting a bit mm-hmm. more value. Um, I've been playing him a little bit. So that's our our first move around of uh, these existing cards. Now let's get into some of the new cards. And we have some new cards that were also new and buffed. Uh, so last <laughs> last season we had Gilgamesh season pass card, and we did actually originally rank him as F tier. He got buffed halfway through his own season. Gilgamesh is now a five cost nine powered card. Where do we have five nine Gilgamesh? It's got to be a B, right? It's not A. Like even the zoo decks don't need him; they can just run. Where the hell is Eliath on our list? Oh, oh he, he, he got changed. changed. I was like, okay. I was like, I'm so confused. <laughs> Wait, it was like, yeah, but he's a B, right? I like it. Yeah, and he's definitely not F tier anymore. Um, but it wouldn't be a card I'd say you you need to get by any means. Look, not better than Sasquatch, right? Like, on par with these other cards. Yeah. Do we have Proxima level too high right now? Where do we have Proxima right now? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, she could maybe be C tier. Yeah, right? Like, she's... Going yeah, back. let's move. Good catch in there. Let's move Proxima. Um, we did originally rank Athena as S tier right when she came out. Is she still S tier? Do we have her as A? I think it's A. I think A is more 
accurate to where she is. I think the Angela nerf her, her just enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she still feels powerful, but it's not as mm -hmm. much overwhelmingly anymore. Okay, then we've got Cersei. Um, also a strong card. Mainly just sees play in like the uh, junk package and such. Kind of sees play alongside Mockingbird. Where do we have Cersei? I think Cersei's probably a little better right now, but I can see metas where Annihilus is a little better. Yeah. So like, I, I just think they're the same card. Okay, I like keeping her in A for now. Okay. Um, I do think they are really strong cards. Like they're they're definitely powerhouses. Okay, ready for a hot, ready for a hot take. I'm gonna Bakari's say Makari. I could see B or C. What do you think of her? I think she's a B. Yeah. No, I'm not surprised. I I agree. She's I played her like she always feels fine. Like that four power just for free. It's, yep. It's the tempo is so good. If you want yep. priority? Like it, you're getting it. You're getting it. And just like I thought she would be sort of just filler in surfer decks and just being like, oh, look, I have power there in my surfer deck. Like, and if you run Cosmo with her, she lets you run Cosmo or or Eliath more effectively. She's just a good card. Yeah. Like, changed. I thought she was going to be terrible. I was wrong. Yeah. I mean, they changed. You know, originally she was announced as a 3-3. Three, three. The, the plus one power, I think, did make a big difference, too. Yeah. Uh, the, the plus right. four feels fine. All right, where do we have Fastos? Definitely lower on the tier list. Yeah. Is, is he C tier? C tier. Yeah. Then we got Erishem. Is Erishem just automatic S tier? I mean, especially if you're new to Series 3, you can get Erishem, and now you have access to every single card in the game. There's one other card that does that, and that's an S tier, so yes. Yep. Yeah, Loki up here. Yeah. Um, Arishem's just awesome. He's fun, but also he just lets you play everything. So regardless of your collection, you can you can do big things. Okay, then we've got Gwenpool, the current season pass card. Um, she seems to have been performing fairly well. I've seen her a, a decent amount. Not crazy OP or anything, but where do we have Gwenpool? Somewhere between A and B. I think she's probably a B, but I think she's going to end up in A. Look, if you have $10 and her, you should buy Yeah. So yeah, that's a solid, solid buy, like by definition. Yeah, that's fair. Being the current season pass card, kind of works a bit differently. So I like that. Let's move. And next next month we'll see where the meta is. Maybe she'll be an A. Maybe she'll be an F. Right? Like there's no way to know. Right. As of right now, she's good. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, uh, Hydra Bob is he automatic F tier? I mean, I don't see any argument otherwise. He's actually not terrible. Like yes. I played him. Yeah. Uh, for weekend missions, and he wasn't like. Bad. He wasn't good. Like, <laughs> he's utter junk, and you should definitely not buy him. But like, yeah, he just feels like pointless. Like, why? Why mm -hmm. would I play this? Like, four power is not bad, but I could play another cheap card with good power. Like, why would you specifically want Hydra Bob in any case? Now a three four, and that's, that's a big change. And that's a big change for move. Where do you think Hercules is now? Depends how good a player you are. If you're yes. really good with move, <laughs> it's an A bordering on S. Uh -huh. And if you're a normal player, it's a B bordering on C. Yeah, yeah, he goes crazy when he works. Um, we do need to make him work. Okay, so I like the B tier, which is a good job because uh, last time we did this list, Hercules was an F tier because he was he was a five seven or four seven. So you know the change made a big difference. And now we have Eliath, who has the same ability, but he was buffed from eight power to ten power. A little bit bigger, the little purple fart cloud. Um, where is New Eliath? I've seen a little bit, a little bit more now since his buff. He's in Zoo, often over Gilgamesh, and he's in Eliath because they can't Darkhawk or Shangir Blob. Oh, you mean in Airstream decks? That's sorry, what did I say? In Eliath decks? Yeah, yeah. I've been saying <laughs> those two wrong for a while. Sorry about that. Yeah, so he's either B or A. I can see either one. Probably. I B. But. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaning towards B. I agree, he's kind of on the cusp. Um, there are just a lot of good big cards still. Like he, he's mm -hmm. not necessarily needed. He's a bit uh, replaceable, but he definitely feels strong. So I'll put him in B right in front of our friend Baron Zemo. And then we have Cannonball, who once Professor X got changed. Um, you know, I haven't seen much Cannonball. He he kind of well, I did see him right away. But people were still playing him with Professor X, and they would just hit my cards into their X lane, not realizing. But now, yeah. uh, he's kind of fallen off. He did also take a one-point power reduction, so he kind of got a double whammy nerf. 
Where is 5-7 Cannonball without his best friend, Professor X? His new best friend is Debris, and he should yeah. be an A, but he is, he is a B. Um, no one seems to have realized that Blob. He, he kills Blob. Yeah, no, I've been, I don't saying, understand. I've been liking that, because I'll, I'll be playing Airship against Airship, and I'll like randomly yeah. get Cannonball, and I'm like, sweet, I can just kill that Blob. <laughs> but, like, people don't, like, no one seems to be talking about that. No one seems to realize junk decks are really, really great against Airship. Yeah. And he's a major reason why. Because if they drop that Blob, you're just like, oh, thanks. Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, and, yeah, I think a lot of people don't realize the whole Blob ongoing thing, not being able to move, mm -hmm. means Cannonball wrecks him. Um, I like him in B for now. Yeah. I think it's it's a good spot. Okay, then we've got High Evo. So none of his evolve cards change, but High Evo himself is now a four six instead of a four four. Um, where do we have a High Evo? Is he S tier, A tier? What do we think? I think he's saying. I think Arisham has just dethroned him as the thing you should. Yeah, like the go to card for a new mm -hmm. series three player it used to be like get High Evo. You can now play this full deck even if you're missing much stuff. Well, now it's a get Arisham, right? Arisham's like the right. go to. To just build it. And like, he might even be in third because Loki exists. Yeah, and you could do Loki Airship. I mean, you can do High Evo yeah. Airship too, but you know, Loki Airship is more prevalent. Yeah. Um, so it's... I like it. I like High Evo hanging out in A tier. It's still a nice home. And then we've got Red Hulk. So Red Hulk now is six ten, but he's only getting plus three after each energy skipped instead of plus four. I've definitely seen him drop off a bit since his his last change, but he's still a decent big power card. Is he is he A? Is he B? Where's where's Red Hulk? Is he better than Eliath right now? I don't know. Like I don't think you can argue he's better than Eliath or Sasquatch cards in his cost slot. Yeah. So that means he has to be a B, right? Like yeah. He's clearly not as good as Blob. Yeah, which is um, crazy too, because when he came out, it's like, oh, you don't need Blob anymore. You've got Red Hulk. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, we've got Airship, so you you don't need Red Hulk anymore. You've got Blob. <laughs> yeah, basically yes. All right. Uh, so looking at our list here, we get S through F tier. We ranked all the new cards, all cards that got changed. Is there anything here that pops out to you? Any last minute adjustments you would argue to make? No, I like a lot of the lower tier cards more than a lot of the higher tier cards but that's the fun of marvel snap right there is no <laughs> one size fits all like a lot of it is just what do you like and how much do you like it right because um like i don't play blink at all right uh -huh. but i play werewolf all the time i play valentina all the time so like for me personally if i weren't a content creator who buys all the cards i would have like my solid buys would be these C tier cards, and my right. things I wouldn't want would be these A tier cards. Um, so remember, your personal preference matters. It's not about right and wrong; it's about what you'll play with. If you um, buy Loki, who's like ridiculously must have, still one of the best decks in the game, and he just sits in your collection, and you have no interest in ever playing Loki, don't buy Loki, even though it's a must have. Buy something lower ranked that you will actually use. Yeah, yeah, you want cards that you're going to play. At the end of the day, that's the cards that add value to your collection. Are you going to play them? The more you play them, the more valuable they are, even if, you know, we're ranking them low for, like, a competitive sense. Um, get get the cards that you want to play. I also like this list here. I think it's uh, very good, a great update. You know, we had to make a lot of changes because uh, a lot has changed. But I think it's been a, a great refresh. So I'm going to post up on the screen also with uh, dividers or borders for Series 4 and Series 5 cards, and I'll save a copy of this just as like a PNG in my Discord as well if you uh, need a copy. So um, I appreciate you being on Glazer. Uh, for everyone who doesn't know, which you probably all already do, because Glazer is now one of the top 10 uh, most viewed Snap YouTubers on a monthly basis, apparently. So you probably all watch him. Wow glazer of snap judgment pod and i'll definitely link his channel above if you're not familiar so you can go see all of the top decks every week in marvel snap he gives you all that information uh so glazer thank you very much for being on thank you for your input on updating this uh very helpful tier list i appreciate it an absolute pleasure we'll do it again next month thank you everybody so until then stay positive i'll see you next time